Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Madam Chair, if you could allow us and Director, this lady here is a bishop. This bishop will take us through, if you don't uh, mind, on how to register. For those who want to register, pay keen attention on her presentation. Her name is Jael Olak. Makofi kwa Jael. Good morning. It has been a blessing for the past week and this week, being called a bishop. I believe uh, God has really blessed me. I'm going to take you through the registration process. And this one basically goes to the ones who have never interacted with the system at any point. But it is your first time that you want to interact with our system and you want to do business with KPC. Our theme this year is enhancing transparency through supplier relationship management. And as you've heard from uh, the women representative, she has told you there's transparency in Kenya pipeline. So what are the requirements to register as a supplier in KPC? You'll require the following documents. You must have a registered company. You must have a KRA PIN certificate that is valid. And you also have an email address that is of private domain. Our system does not accept any public domain email address such as Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo. So you must uh, ensure that you get a private domain. A private domain email address uh, range from 1,000 to 5,000, depending on which service provider you are getting it from. So the first step will be to log in to the KPC website using the address www.kpc.co.ke. Immediately, the page will open up that has quite a number of tabs and you will go directly to the tenders uh, tab. Select the tender tab. An e-procurement page will pop up. Am I too fast? Yes, no. OK, let me. OK. Immediately, you select the tenders tab. A page will, op will open up for e-procurement. Go there to e-procurement page and select supplier portal. An e-procurement page will open up with our supplier portal. And uh, for the first timers, you will note that we have two tabs there, one for the user. The second one is password. Below it, we have log on, then get support and then new supplier. Go straight to new supplier self-registration. And the registration page will open up. Uh, it will indicate welcome to supplier registration page. This page has got four parts in it. We have the general information of the company. We have the contact person details. We have the product category. And finally, the data privacy statement. And the general uh, company information kindly indicate the name of your company. We've noted uh, some of us are not putting the name of the company under company name. What you are putting there is maybe a registration number. Please enter the name of your company so that the system can capture the name of your organization. Under registration number, enter the name of the uh, registration number appearing on your certificate of incorporation or certificate of registration. There are those ones that begin with CPR and there are those ones that begin with BN. That is the number that you'll enter under registration number. All parts marked in asterisks are mandatory. When you come to the address, you will select the country you are in, and then below it we have the region. 
KPC has got six regions, that is Mombasa, Nairobi, Mayog, which is in Naivasha, Nakuru, Eldoret, and Kisumu. Uh, the reason why you have to select the region that you want to do business with is because of the request for quotations. For request for quotations, you'll be limited to a particular region. If you've registered under Nairobi, you'll only do business in Nairobi under request for quotation. But it will not limit you to bid for the open, for the open tenders. Is that clear? So the region is just for RFQs only and not for open tender. Give us to your postal uh, address. On my right, you'll select whether you are an overseas supplier or you are a local supplier. Below the local supplier tab, we have the KRA pin. Enter your KRA pin number there. Ensure your KRA pin certificate is valid. Then you'll tell us, uh, you'll select which category you belong to. If you belong to the AGPO category, uh, you'll select the AGPO checkbox and then select one of the categories you belong to, if it is women, youth, or PWD. The second part of our registration form is the contact person uh, details. This is very important to us as KPC and also important to you who will be receiving uh, any uh, communication from KPC. The telephone number you give here must be accurate. The email address you give here must be accurate. You are the one who will receive any communication from KPC. Even at the end of registration, the contact person is the one who will receive the user ID and password. So if you give us a wrong email address or a wrong telephone number, we will not be able to reach you. Then we have the product category. The product category, these are the services that you want to offer to KPC. And you are allowed to select up to a maximum of five. It doesn't matter from which category, whether it is under engineering, safety, uh, general supplies, or uh, uh, corporate communication. You can cut across all the fields, but you are allowed to select up to a maximum of five. At the end of presentation, I will show you how to expand on the product category tab so that you are able to select the categories. And finally, on the form we have the data privacy statement. Go through it, read it. Once you accept, select the checkbox and then click on send. Upon successful registration, you will receive uh, a notification. Your registration has been sent to KPC. You will receive your user ID and password. If you do not receive this notification and what you are receiving is errors, there's an error message you are getting. Just go back to the top of the form and see what error you are getting, if it is about your PIN or your email address, and um, rectify the error, and then you send the form. The email address you will receive, they will come in two. The first one will contain the user ID, uh, which is alphanumerical. The second email will contain uh, your password. Then we have this group that has done um, business with KPC before, we, we rolled out the e-procurement and they have never registered in our system. Please do not register again. If you've done business with KPC before, you've received an LPO, you've received a contract, but you have not registered in our e-procurement, the following doc documents, we will require them from you. A copy of your KRA PIN certificate, 
um, copy of certificate of registration or incorporation, name of the contact person, telephone number, private domain email address. Kindly send those documents, scan them, and send them to SRM support at kpc.co.ke and you will receive your user ID and password. Please do not register. So how do you log in to the portal? Once you've received your user ID and password, under user, you will enter the user ID that has been sent to you. Normally, you get the user ID within 24 hours, but you should be able also to get it immediately. If you don't get it immediately, within 24 hours, you should get it. If you don't receive it, write to SRM support at kpc.co.ke. Enter the user ID that has been sent and not your email address. Then you will enter the password that has also been sent. You can change your password, but you cannot change your user ID. And for you to change your password, on the e-procurement portal, do not enter any information, do not enter your user ID, do not enter your password. Go straight to get support. A page will pop up where you'll be required to enter your login ID. The login ID is the user ID. Enter the user ID that was sent to you, and then under email address, enter the email address that was entered when, uh, for the contact person. Use the email address for the contact person, then click on submit. You will receive a new password immediately. When the system requires an old password, enter the current password that has been sent and then you'll be able now to reset to your own password. <laughs>